Hello, hello, Jacob here from Good UI. Most recently, I did a quick analysis of a leaked Netflix homepage experiment, which is uh, which you're seeing right here, two versions of the homepage. And what we also found out after looking up the experiment after a couple of weeks later is that actually the A version was kept and the B version was rejected. Uh, this is a decision they made, presumably uh, based on, an exp on the actual experiment data. Um, and in today's video, I wanted to share with you two follow-up patterns, which we have some test data on from other websites, and they match this kind of decision here. All right. So as a quick little uh, uh, background information, the way we captured these, uh, these screenshots were uh, using basically clearing cookies in between and taking, um, yeah, two separate screenshots on sometime in January. And that's how we detected that there were two different versions and an active experiment was going on. Um, this is a, an experiment where there are multiple changes. So it's a bit of a leap experiment with the potential of uh, having a greater effect for better or for worse. Um, but one of the big things that you might see right away uh, or, or a user might, or a potential customer might see is the... Um, the clear previews of the movies or the content that they can watch. And the fact that it's latest is further reinforced with, with these actually little thumbnails and the content being updated regularly. Um, I think with on a daily or weekly basis, I'm not sure, um, but it's pretty much up to date, right? Where in, in the B version here, it's not very visible in terms of the actual previews or the, um, or the actual uh, content that you're about to watch. It's still there, it's except further down on the page, and they're smaller. The The core focus, however, and the, at the upper page of the, uh, the landing page um, is on watching on any device. So it's like a, the, the method of, of, of delivery, uh, the flexibility of uh, watching on a phone, tablet, laptop, etc. Whereas here, it's a lot more about being empowered in, um, with, the, with the latest content, with the freshest, uh, with, with the latest uh, movies and, and, and so forth. And the pattern that I wanted to share with you, which kind of matches that, is this little thing here shared with us uh, by Vito, where uh, the idea is to show product previews, show more of, uh, more 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 thumbnails, more examples of what you're about to receive. This has been tested in the context of um, something completely different, a completely different industry. And this is a landing page for a, for a lead magnet for um, essentially for ways and scales and in the context of an ebook, okay? Nevertheless, the previews have been shown uh, as little thumbnails here, where basically they show samples of the uh, of the of the PDF or, or the ebook that someone can receive. Okay, so this is the closest we can we, we have um, on something that might be somewhat similar. Okay, giving people a bit of a sense, and um, and this was a positive experiment. Okay, a suggestive experiment with um, a potential increase to uh, to signups and leads. And given this single experiment that's now attached to this pattern, this pattern has gained positive probability. So it has left kind of neutrality and has been charged with something um, that might be positive here, okay? And that matches this, okay? So that's the similarity here. Um, Going further, another change that's uh, that we, we can observe is the use of uh, you know full filled traditional kind of stylized buttons versus buttons that are often referred to as ghost buttons. So basically, they don't have they don't have a fill. They're kind of transparent. They have a transparent background. They just have a border, and they're a little bit less visible. Okay, and that's what B version has. And of course, we know that B was rejected. So that's one change that could be potentially attributed to uh, being weaker. Um, and 
we are tracking ghost buttons as well, separately as, as a separate pattern here. And we have the same test data on that particular change as well. Uh, one experiment has so far been shared with us by Luke. Luke Hay um, ran on some homepage and a very similar uh, treatment of, of that particular uh, button style. Okay, so in the control full fill buttons, of course, and in the variant, uh, we see ghost buttons. This experiment did uh, had a negative effect. And because we haven't actually ob obtained full sample size for conversion data, um, we attributed less, point, less points to that. So it's a bit of a weaker form of evidence without you know, all the data. Nevertheless, we still capture that and we want to remember that. And so far, ghost buttons have received a negative um, scale here. All right, so we have positive negative patterns. And of course, this also matches this decision here to go with A. Um, there are additional changes in here. So this is again a leap experiment. There, there's, there's pricing information that's visible here, whereas pricing is the pri pricing concerns are kind of raised. It's kind of like one low price. We, there's a reference to that, but it doesn't really answer that until you get further in the funnel. So arguably, pricing is a little bit more visible here. Uh, another thing that's kind of key is, is this very, very strong visualization of how to cancel and where to cancel. And, and it's proven visually uh, with a snapshot of the interface. And, uh, and another major thing I think is the use of consistent buttons. So here we have join and join, join for free. That is essentially the same message. Whereas in the, um, in the variant, we have repeated calls to action, but they actually have slightly different messages, which maybe raises a question. Maybe maybe it makes people feel like, okay, if I click this, is something different than than this, and if I if I click this, does this mean that only like cancel anytime is only you know available through here, but not through there? Little little potential doubts and and slight questions. Um, yeah, so so multi-change test. I think a great example of an experiment where um, you know someone has taken a bit of a risk, um, but we have these patterns that kind of potentially match some of these changes, and that's why we we track these. We try to isolate these changes as patterns so that they could be used and applied and inspire design uh, design ideas or experiment ideas. Um, and we then keep on weighing the kind of probability. Every time uh, an experiment wins or loses, uh, that is remembered under the pattern. And then, of course, when we venture out on, on projects and, and, and do optimization and design work, we can ask ourselves the question, you know, given some sort of context, in this case, everything, everything we know, uh, everything's being tracked, uh, what are the patterns that have worked the most frequently, the most number of times, and, and have the most number of positive experiments behind them? Um, and that's that's essentially what this this pattern section under Good UI um, uh, offers us, and gives us that kind of ability to um, to know what works. And of course, at the at the bottom, we also have negative experiment, negative patterns that. Um, further down on, on, on later pages that also tell us and um, help us understand maybe some ideas that are slightly negative or, or, or don't work that well. Uh, so those we can avoid. All right. So I'll link up to the, um, to the blog post and to, to this, to these two patterns. And uh, yeah, if you have questions, ask away and I'll try my best to answer. Hopefully it was um, useful and uh, yeah. Cheers.